And we're back to Let's Play Warriors of the Eternal Sun. I am Troll Videl. Um, last vid, we ran around, collected all kinds of stuff. Um, this vid, um, I've equipped everybody. I rearranged the party, took a little rest, so, uh, everyone is all specked out to get ready to go. We got Hogar in the lead. So he can uh, intercept anyone who will be charging the party, which they tend to do. And um, I think we're just going to jump right into it. As you probably noticed the last video, I never actually got around to telling you. I mentioned it in all the previous attempts at the video. Um, I took the vo uh, music down because um, it was really loud and uh, really interfered with the commentary. I have I don't know how to get it lower without, you know, I, I can't, I'm, I'm still kind of new to this, all this whole process and video capture and editing, and I'm not really doing much editing, to be honest, but, yeah, so I'm still trying to get used to things, so for now, I'm just taking the sound off completely, so you just have to listen to me ramble to fill the time, um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, with that little caveat out of the way, we're going to go out into the wilderness, make sure Hogar's the one who's currently in charge. What we're gonna do is uh, do a little wandering around. Oh, that was quick. Didn't <laughs> Last time I wandered around forever before anything fought me. Alright, we got Flying Vipers, which is, uh, yeah, it's snakes with wings. <laughs> which, uh, not the most threatening things I've ever seen. Uh, since I started the combat, um, I actually get a whole bunch of rounds. I get a whole set of turns to go twice because I kind of initiated the combat and took them by surprise. I didn't even need that because I just destroyed them. Well, that was much more successful than... <laughs> this might be a good run this time. Oop, oh, some more. Yep, as you can see, they go slower than you. So if you get into... Um, run into something that you don't want to fight, you can generally outrun it. And after a certain point, you know, you won't have to worry about it. Um, you can also run away in combat as well, but, um, yeah, it's, eh, not too big a deal. Um, as you can see, um, these fights are turn-based. Uh, you initiate a combat on your own, usually with a ranged attack. So I have it on B, so if I see something, I just hit B, and then I get to start the combat. First character will not be allowed to move, he'll only be allowed to attack. After that, you have kind of a free range of movement. You have a certain distance you can move, but you can move as much as you want before taking an action. As you can see, I'm having Cassia kind of charge up and strike with melee, since I have the opportunity. Hogar, oh, Hogar, because I'm not getting close enough. There we go. Um. E Generally, especially um, these first two items on this island are not that tough, <coughs> save for, of course, the uh, Beastman camp, which I will be uh, <laughs> trying not to think too much about. <coughs> Owned! Hogar the Mighty. But, um, yeah, w once I get across the bridge, which is where I'm going to go to fight some tougher enemies to get more experience, uh, yeah, those ones I'm going to be doing the hide behind bushes and shoot slingshots at. Because uh, they have a habit of having uh, very strong animals that have multiple attacks. <coughs> and, uh, da 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 da! Battle over! Those snakes never had a chance. Whoop, oh, boar. These guys are a little faster. But yeah, um. On the, across the bridge, you can see um, um, usually bears are very common enemies, which get uh, two or three attacks and can pretty much destroy you in one round if you're first level. Um, but uh, also, there are dire wolves, which only get one attack to my knowledge, but uh, uh, are pretty strong. Not as tough as all the monsters you can fight. There are tigers, which are kind of in the middle. They get a lot of attacks, but they're not too hard to hit, so not too much of a worry. 
But the one you got to look out for is the Hill Giants, which uh, they give the best XP. But uh, yeah, they can wreck you pretty handily. I mean, even uh, my man Hogar there uh, has a good chance of getting killed in one or two rounds of combat if all the attacks land. He has a one AC, so he will be the one if I have to tie the guy up in melee, it will be Hogar. Because uh, anyone else will probably get one shot at. Oop! Beastmen! Well, small beastmen, but. So. Basically, weaker versions of uh, things we will fight. These guys drop money and equipment, so uh, I prefer to fight beastmen if I can, because this is the only thing that uh, actually will give me some equips back. Yay! 66 gold pieces. And a sword. Nice. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, the hill giants are the ones you got to look out for. Uh, they have a big club. They can attack multiple times. And they have a ranged attack, unlike any other monsters, except for some of the beastmen. Is that they throw boulders, which really, really hurt. Um... So, yeah, they're kind of dangerous, but it's kind of a risk and reward thing where you get a lot of XP if you can take one down. Uh, on the other side, by the swamp, you can actually fight uh, black dragons. Yeah, um, I'm not going over there <laughs> yet. Um, the only way I reliably took them down... Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Speak of the devil! It's a hill giant crossing the bridge. They're not supposed to do that. Uh, this is going to be bad. This is where we run and try to take advantage of the admittedly dim uh, AI. And, uh, yes, one damage. Come on. You can sometimes mess them with him if you have a lot of people attacking from different directions. Oh, come on now. Run! You are far too squishy to be staring at that. But um, what we will do, actually... Or, oh, 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 up, and there. We will use our magic missile spell. It's the only spell we have. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it auto-hits, which is very nice. It's a good amount of damage, more than I was doing with the slings there. So, um... Their AI is odd, so sometimes they'll go for the weakest character, sometimes they will go for whoever hurt them the most. It really depends, I guess, on the mood. But, um... Oh, boy. He is slowly making his way across the bridge. They're not supposed to come across the bridge on you. You're supposed to not go across the bridge because you can fight them there. They kind of give you a warning, which will pop up... Uh, oh, God. Will pop up uh, shortly after. I'm going to just charge him and do something. Yeah! Go, Hogar! Yeah, anyway, um, what's supposed to happen is when you cross the bridge, it'll say... Uh, you know, uh, Celia is worried about crossing the bridge because you're not supposed to cross the bridge um, until you're, you know, a decent level. You know, maybe like level two or so. So anyone level one, you know, they'll only say two names, but generally people will kind of come and I'll show you right here. Celia and Cassia are worried about crossing the bridge. So that's what should have happened, and then I should have fought the hill giant. It shouldn't have come across the bridge to fight me. <laughs> But yeah, you saw the first hill giant. I'll probably be fighting more hill giants. Um, and beastmen and all kinds of other things. I'm um, not sure how many fights I will show. I will show the important ones. Like, I will not skip over the beastmen camp. Which is uh, an ambush. Which uh, sucks, because you can kind of get surprised and get taken out that way. But, uh... I might show a little bit more of just the kind of combat, you know, to explain stuff and show different monsters. But I will try not to 
let it drag on too much if I'm just kind of running around to level and not aiming to get somewhere. I probably won't show that. I'll off-screen that so you don't have to you don't have to see that. So uh, that'll be it for now. We fought a bunch of a bunch of serpents. Fought a hill giant that came to us. Fortunately, it was a exceptionally stupid hill giant, so didn't have to worry there. So uh, next time, folks, we will uh, do some more fighting and maybe take on the Beastman camp. No promises, though. We'll see how it goes. Till next time, adventurers. Ah, a boar! Quick, quick, pause. <laughs>